Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're taking a look at the FET compressor by Softube and more specifically how to set up external sidechain triggering inside of Ableton Live. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need two tracks. You're going to need the track that you're doing the compressing on and you're going to need the sidechain trigger track. And whatever is on this track is going to be what's called ghost side chaining, which means you're not going to hear it in your project. And that is just because that's the way it works. It's not like if you're using a regular compressor inside Ableton Live where you can do ghost side chaining, but you don't have to do ghost side chaining. Ghost side chaining essentially means that you won't hear the sound that's triggering the side chain compression. You're going to see more of that in a second, but I just wanted to make sure you knew if you have a kick that's laid out like this in your EDM track, for example, you're going to have to duplicate that track because when we enable the side chaining on this compressor, the, the track that we're going to do the side chaining from or the, the track that's going to trigger the side chain compression is going to be silent. But anyway, another quick note about really all of Softube's plugins when they're run inside Ableton Live is you'll look at the interface here and there's no presets, at least you don't see a, like a preset dropdown. The presets are always gonna be in this uh, container box down here in the channel itself. If I click here, I'll, you can see that I have a few presets down here anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the compression uh, preset to smooth and let's just run it without the four by four track to see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna set up the sidechain compression. And the first thing we need to do is come into whatever we want to trigger the sidechain compression, which is gonna be this four by four track down here. And down here we have the output, which we're gonna go to darkness base, which is the track that contains the FET compressor. And then you'll see that it automatically has selected the side chain trigger inside of the FET compressor. And that's because there's only one device on this channel that can accept an external source. However, if I drop a different one, let's see, we'll go in here and I know the destructor has one. This also accepts external sources and you'll see now that the second drop down menu isn't highlighted out or isn't X'd out because we have a choice between the two. And obviously for this tutorial, we're going for sidechain input, FET compressor, but I just wanted to let you know that sometimes you're gonna have multiple choices and the FET compressor is the one you're gonna to wanna to go with. Go ahead and delete that. Jump back into the FET compressor and go ahead and run it and just turn up the amount of sidechain compression. So there you go. Now the compressor is being triggered by our external source. Pretty easy. Uh, a couple of things is that the detector can adjust the frequency being used from the sidechain trigger track. So if you say you have a complicated drum group that's got kicks and snares and hi-hats, you can roll off the hi-hats or roll off the low end if you want and adjust the frequency that's being used to trigger it. It doesn't have to be everything in the, the whole drum group triggering the, the compressor. But that's pretty straightforward. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you how to get external sidechain going inside Ableton Live using the FET compressor by Softube. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.